Aloha YouTubers, uh, this is Jeff and uh, I am uh, doing the uh, 1960 Pontiac Ventura restoration and this is part four and uh, just uh, this part involves uh, taking out of the trunk, cleaning the trunk um, there's the jack and everything, standard stuff this tire, spare tire and here's the inside of the, the trunk now when I when I got the car I immediately OSFO'd everything rust inhibitor and preventative so what you're seeing there the white stuff is the chemical reaction uh, of the chemicals and uh, you know neutralizing the rust and, and turning it into hard iron or something like that anyway so what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna take all of this vacuum it out go back in with a uh, wire wheel on a drill bit and wire brush all of that out and my grinder if I need to just to knock off any loose rust it's all just surface rust I do have some rust through and of course I have other issues here that I'm going to deal with afterwards major issues actually but the first thing I want to do is I want to prepare the trunk for POR 15 and uh, as you can see just some uh, milky surface kind of stuff there um, and I'm going to uh, POR 15 it which will give it a nice um, ceramic style finish and uh, I've pulled all the rubber plugs out I've got them all right here and as you can see pretty bad shape most of them are their original 1959 1960 um, equipment to the car. I have uh, new plugs on the way so I'll be POR 15 in it and, and then putting in uh, rubber plugs after that and then it should be good to go. So really not major problem here at all. I don't see any problems in the trunk um, that are going to uh, prevent me from moving forward so I want to get that done. And uh, then the next, uh, look at this under under trunk lid here. The light works. I have the battery disconnected because I've got the doors open. I don't want to run down the battery. But look, the original, the original label for the jack instructions, original paint, all original. Up here, major issue. I'm going to buy a welder and cut this and install all new metal here. But that's down the road. First thing I want to do is make sure that no moisture and no water on any low-lying surface can settle my next uh, my next thing I'm going to do and this uh, depending on the weather but I will be doing this fender here uh, I've taken off the Ventura nameplate already um, I've taken off the molding and I have this situation right here and this is going to be kind of an ugly job but what I'm going to do here is I'm going to I've already osphoed it it's already turned hard most of the rust is gone but I'm going to grind all this stuff out here grind this off then I'm going to POR 15 the inside of that then after the POR 15ing I'm going to do expanding spray foam and build that up and make a main body there sand it down even to this and then I'm going to weld a new uh, piece of metal here on the bulkhead that should really do it anyway I'm a long way off from completing everything I'm talking about but it's fun you're watching the poor man's restoration uh, Jeff Tranchina December uh, 5th 2013 oh my god am I getting older what Aloha.